Inside Secure is a fabulous semiconductor company. We're, we're located in Aix-en-Provence in France. Uh, we then have uh, offices in the U.S. in Silicon Valley and as well in Singapore and, and Shanghai. The company actually operates in three distinct segments. The first is really an ID, and that is ID of device to device, so machine to machine authentication and, and ID. The second is people to systems, chips that are used in passports and ID cards and physical access control badges. The second segment is in the area of payment. And here, Inside's been behind the growth of contactless payment in the US market, and as well, a provider of EMV chips for the rest of the world. So payments is the second. The third, and really the reason that we're here this week at the Mobile World Conference, is for NFC, near field communication. And this is really the combination of, of contactless short range technology, along with security technology to create transactions. Transactions with a transit turnstile, a payment infrastructure, or the smart poster in the train station. Uh, one, of the, one of the key things about NFC is it really provides intent. I'm really able to point my mobile at something, a poster or a transit uh, system or a, or a payment uh, terminal, and it provides security. So in that context, three that I think are very interesting. Uh, first is payment. I begin to turn my mobile into my digital wallet for my Visa MasterCard payment, my gift card payment, uh, my payment at a transit turnstile. So that's number one. Two, I think we all in the corporate world have ID badges. And they're beginning to use my BlackBerry device equipped with NFC to open the door lock at my building or the elevator or at my gym. The third is a, is a very innovative application that uh, we've seen in the industry, which is uh, diagnostic skin patches. So a, a very innovative company in the US is creating patches to detect certain conditions or monitor certain conditions on patients. Those patches are applied to the skin and the uh, caregiver, the nurse, or the doctor is able to take readings from that skin patch using their handheld mobile. So the variety from payment to ID and access to even healthcare and medical applications is quite broad. So um, we've been involved in the market actually for quite some time. In uh, the early 2000s, our chief scientist, in fact, had uh, created early prototypes of NFC before it was called NFC. And if you remember the handspring visor, we ran our first demos back in 2002 of NFC at that time. From there, we went on to become very involved in standard setting uh, within the NFC forum community, then had gone on to do early demonstrator designs with some of our OEM partners. Today, we're one of the major providers of NFC core technology, NFC controllers, along with secure elements to the community. Uh, the RIM ecosystem with Blackberries is a good example of how our core technology is being used in, in mobile devices today. So um, I'd say it's significance. This has been a market for many years that's been about to come next year. And uh, we've certainly been, uh, been sticking with it for, for quite some time since, since early 2000. Um, what we found, however, was 2010 became the key inflection point, largely driven by the work that ISIS was doing in, in creating sponsorship for NFC devices, becoming a buyer, ISIS being the consortium in the US between ATT, Verizon, and T-Mobile, they ended up creating demand and pull. Google also became an early proponent of this core technology and created sponsorship of, of Android-based devices. So with that, that created a catalyst for first commercial devices going out in volume in 2011. We've seen research analysts suggest that anywhere between 35 and 40 million such devices were actually deployed out into the global markets in 2011. Inside had actually uh, provided a bit north of 17 million NFC chipsets into that market. So that's represented uh, really nearly half of the, the overall market. Now the research analyst data that we see now and, and what we're using in some of our planning is that market will likely double in 2012, getting anywhere between 80 and 100 million devices out in market. So some very nice growth in, uh, in the uh, mobile uh, NFC space. We further expect that that market will begin to double 
year to year in the, in the years that follow. So I, I think we're in a, a market today that's going to begin having some, some uh, almost, almost exponential type growth. The first challenge, and, and many have described this as an industry with a chicken and egg, and the first break came last year. Um, we need to have devices out there that work for developers, uh, banks, uh, carriers, uh, transit authorities to begin launching services. So we got to that point. Devices are out there and more devices are planned, are being worked on, and will come to market in 2012. So that's, that's the good news. The next step is really preparing for, for very massive growth. This will be NFC in other types of devices aside from mobile phones, in smart posters, in things like ultrabooks and tablets. When we begin looking at a very large deployment of this type of technology being, I'd say, ubiquitous, creating reference designs, making the integration of the technology into phones is exceptionally important. And we've begun doing work in standardizing how integration occurs and lining up support teams to make that happen with our customers. So integration and making it very simple for the community to allow it to scale is a very important issue. The second is really open standards related to applications. In the retail community, for the launch of things like private label, loyalty, couponing, we don't have the benefit of a, a standards body. So here, the industry rallying around application standards will be very important. And then thirdly, in terms of the growth of many other applications, authentication. This is Charlie Walton, and I'm able to tap and communicate that. So an authentication infrastructure for NFC, we, we feel is particularly important for growth. Well, I, I, I would just say that um, we're, uh, we're very, very excited about the prospects for this NFC market. It, it promises for consumers and enterprises a, a very compelling proposition of almost the magic wand of turning my mobile phone into my desire to transact. We're able to exchange on Facebook when we first meet at a, at a conference like this. I'm able to enter the, the transit station very simply, whether as a regular traveler or a visitor. I'm able to manage my funds very simply, very easily on the go. Um, I'm able to interact with devices that surround me, whether it's the smart poster, picking up the latest Lady Gaga video track, or interacting with a smart poster to uh, pick up my tickets, um, to interacting with other devices that, that will be enabled with uh, NFC uh, sensors in the future. So I think we're, we're heading to a, a very compelling time in the market. In many respects, we look at what's going on right now in 2012 as being reminiscent of the e-commerce revolution that was occurring in 95 to 99, where the wild, wild west of Big growth in application sets is where the industry is really at. And so we're, we're thrilled to be at the center of that, of really enabling many of these new compelling devices. Um, and uh, we've, we've got an exciting 2012 ahead for us.